Uh, that may I say, oh, the Minister of Security no come out, come say nothing. Oh, the Minister of Security, them does sit down and does a watch Wagwan. Jamaica, me not understand Wagwan with the airport. Wagwan with all of these ports. Oh, uh, unknown, unidentified plane for enter with airspace. And we not shoot it down. We not shut it down. All right, we not going to shoot it down because we not reach that level there yet, Jamaica. But oh, an unknown, unidentified plane I left from so far coming out with airspace. And we not call up a soldier, them our police, them our security, we well trained. Go out, they go see what I go and take them off of the plane, put them down on them belly, face search them, find out. Oh, that. We not find one detain, them I say we not no detain in center for put them. Oh, you mean, well, look how much place in a Jamaica you can put them. Want to do a jam intel in a Kingston. Jam intel, they ride next door house of parliament, one big old building where we used to go, they go make phone call back now the days. Right now, it just lay down and wrap them down. What the end of the earthquake, piece of jam intel tear off and the house of parliament it the near and Every day the government, them opposition and leader, them drive past it. Warm to over hero circle where us lay down. Look how much old building, our old place put on with now nah use. Your barn as a youth come see them and them out of circulation, them stop use. He want to up our park camp, but we couldn't carry them out park camp. But we carry them down a four star hotel down at the rock. You know what people in Jamaica never go at the rock down a waterfront? And the care, why never carry them down a Rio or Moonstar or Ibero Palace? Why never carry them there so? And look when the Asian them come at Jamaica, I want to treat them, I want to carry them, we go lock them down and send them we back. But you know, say there's a tricks in this. The Indian them and the Syrian them out here that run in business and store and shop and wholesale. They don't want to pay the minimum wages. That's the government raise and offer to the worker. 15,000. They don't want to pay it. So they are brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews in India. So they want to get them to come to Jamaica so they can work half of that money. Them can give them 5,000, 6,000, give them places to stay and give them, yeah, a that a go on. Something they back at it. The minister, security, opposition and leader the two sides on the need for come out and talk to the people them walk one you think a plane full of jamaican could have land in a new york just so or down a india just so something all right my people we need to get to the matter of this in a low bujabam and talk about the indian them were invade jamaica pure indian this time them them not come with what name here yeah? um what name Yeah, Jamaica, I mean, I like what I go on, man. We need to step up the pace, man. Step up the security. We don't spend a bag of money, I do a bag of madness. We need to step money for security. More people soon come invade. Oh, no one be first our country and then on a security system. Security system of failure. Right now, if one of them, man, they don't have Yemen or Iran, say so they might test Jamaica as a prank or a joke. Everything mash up, brother. Set up on a thing, man. We don't have so much money. Oh, all you can do is secure yourself from the people. Want to outer, eh? Want to outer. Just call, man. We need to fix up on yourself, Jamaica. We can do better than that. The money is here. The facility is here. Don't tell me that. Oh, no, no, no detaining place of all them. Want to park camp. Want to outer airport road. There's so much old place there. Eh? Uh, viewers and subscribers, there's a girl named Darren from Canada. She, me and her are a reason we attack and she asks if we not see what go on with the Indian them invade Jamaica and they are the airport and so we are going to make sure talk and hear what she has to hear for the airport. If you guys see the video with the Indian Nationals with Lana and Naman Man International Airport, like when we see it, I swear it was a prank. I see it, somebody, somebody post a snippet of TVJ News and I swear it was one of them fake reports that people always do on TikTok, but it's very much real. So apparently they must say, a German plane 
with Indian nationals and one Uzbekistan national landed at Norman Man International Airport. First and foremost, them say it was an unauthorized aircraft because it shouldn't have been in Jamaican airspace and it shouldn't have been allowed to land. No, me and an immigration person are going to work with air tra traffic con air traffic control, but how does an unauthorized aircraft in a your airspace, how do you allow it to land? And even if you allow it to land because it's an emergency, how do you allow them to be playing left the airport and a room round kingston as if nothing like did they go through immigration something something more must come to that story yeah? because me can't fathom say we immigration controls are so loose and the way all them we word the story it almost won't come in like them i imply say it's not the first time so this coming like said the person the link with them about at airports Nain call me ain't coming to work today so the the, the, the business mash up because me just not understand me, and how are you gonna say that you don't have detention centers but yet still whenever he or haitian brother and sisters land pan jamaican style whether by boat or over them come you round them up in the JUTC and the Juta bus them and carry them wherever you carry them go go process them and send them back so how is it that you not have them same protocols in place for the Indian nationals them will and to and if Jamaica know where I know they better put a, a stop to it because when them let go you know them not go stop there has to be more to this story. Like me just me not understand so me I go wait for ear official word because me, me, that story yeah, flabbergast me. I me just cannot believe say I, I saw it really go. Me can't just believe I saw, I saw it careless as a nation. Like me know we did careless enough, but me never know so we careless. So I can't tell me say them Indian nationals they not have family members yet. So because out of all of the countries them in the world, you just eeny weeny miny mo and say Jamaica. May I ask you this, sir? Please, sir, may I ask you this question? How plain land of Jamaica and you are the Minister of Security and you can't come out and tell Jamaica people um, what's going on and what this plain landing uh, is all about? Don't, this pl flight is a charter flight, so how it be a, a charter flight? Who pay, pay for the flight? How the flight end up reaching Jamaica? Why no other destination more in Jamaica? And then stop on the way picking up somebody else that is interest of America and coming to Jamaica. So we're not letting wanted people in a Jamaica country come danger Jamaica people in life? Hmm? And you are Minister of Security, and you can come out, come, come speak to the Jamaican people and tell them what this is all about. And you, what are you, you, your job that you're doing? What what you, what you're doing into Jamaica? Because you 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 you, you don't seem to me like you you doing a, a a job for the people. You're doing a job for yourself. Because you you can't come out, come talk to the people and and tell them what this is all about. Who who pay for the hotel that these people stop? Why they couldn't go by the upper camp? Why they couldn't go by up there? And why them couldn't board back the flight and go on back immediately? I mean, why them have to on the street of Jamaica walking up and down like they are free people? When you go leave from Jamaica and go to America, you, know, you are free. Get the port to come back to Jamaica because you, you are you're not Ill illegal. So why these people come to Jamaica and then walking up on the street shoulder to shoulder with Jamaican people like they are legal in the country? And you can't come out and come explain yourself and tell the Jamaican people what's going on. You and Andrew only need for resigning. You know? And Mark Golden, we need you to come out come come talk to the Jamaican people and, and make in light you and make you know what's going on in this country. You, know? you can't just sit down so and just lay down all arms. You, know? you need to come out come talk to you and hear what's going on. Because you are the next prime minister coming, so come talk to the Jamaican people and make them know what's going on. Because we can't take no more of this. We don't understand what Andrew Ollis and him followers them are doing in this country. So you need to come out, come talk to the Jamaican people, sir. And I'm asking you, I'm begging you, I'm pleading to you, just come out, come talk to the Jamaican people. We want to hear a word from you, sir. Make we know what's going on in this country. Scores of Indian visitors enjoying the sights and sounds of downtown Kingston on a Sunday afternoon. The issue is, they should not be here nor should they be moving around this freely unsupervised. We understand the Indian nationals were among 218 individuals who arrived in Jamaica via a chartered flight. The flight, a white and blue Airbus A340, is registered in Germany. It has also since been impounded and remains on the tarmac at the Norman Manley International Airport. The aircraft and those aboard did not have the relevant approval, including the passenger manifest, to come to Jamaica. Law enforcement sources told our news center that the chartered airline also did not state it was arriving in Jamaica. Nevertheless, civil aviation officials allowed the aircraft to land. We were further reliably informed that the flight transited through Dubai 
and they'd made a stop in the Egyptian capital Cairo, where an Uzbek national was picked up before heading to Jamaica. The Uzbekistan national based on our checks is of interest to government officials in the United States. Interestingly, another Uzbek national who also arrived on a previous flight was eventually detained when the authorities started investigating this Indian chartered flight. Now after this flight with the Indian nationals arrived in Jamaica, there was a lot of discussion among the authorities on how to treat with the situation. It was eventually decided to allow them to deboard and stay at the four-star rock hotel in downtown Kingston under police guard while the situation is worked on. Checks also revealed that the charter had no arrangement to take the passengers back to their destination, which aroused the suspicion of authorities. Which brings us back to these initial images in downtown Kingston on Sunday afternoon, where many of the passengers were seen freely going about their business. Some appeared to be shopping for snacks and treats. We also understand some of them may have also left the hotel entirely. When we pressed our sources on why they were allowed to go to a four-star hotel, we were told that Jamaica has no detention center at the airport and no space in our remand center for so many people. Our source added that the passengers actually booked to stay at the hotel. They however did not pay for the rooms, but the source says that's why officials allowed them to go there. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News. Alright my viewers and subscribers, I never want to go no more or talk about no more my viewers and subscribers. Only just leave a comment and tell me what you think about Danny from Canada. Tell me if she's right or she's wrong or she just. And you see me tell me what you think about the bread of them. Them uh, man, man. Tell me what you think about where them views, where them are say about the government, Jamaica, the Indian, them fly down in the airport. Just tell me what you think. Leave in a comment. Okay? I'm your host. Well, rhyme up. Check.